what crime had been committed. That's we don't know what crime had been committed. You don't know what crime. It, so could, what, have been, it could have been a stabbing, a disturbance. They said people been. are still on it, here. It could have we been a mass know. murder. The, the chief did it too, because because when I talk, you want you run away. When I talk, you run away. You said it could have been all of those things, but don't you have to suspect or know that it is those things before you demand the ID? This is troubling that you don't know this. You're the chief. That's my decision. Do you understand the, the understand Fourth Amendment? Totally. I understand totally. So then I what is required in the state yesterday. of Florida to demand ID? So we are out at the Orange City Police Department in Florida, where it appears hell froze over, and we actually speak to Police Chief Wayne Miller. We're also going to speak to Lieutenant Ward, who I believe has not yet appeared on this channel. What you're going to hear from them is mind-boggling, concerning, and disturbing. And keep in mind as you're watching this, Lieutenant Ward is the training coordinator for this department, meaning he is in charge of training new officers, educating them, making sure they know what they need to know. Can't make this stuff up. You are going to hear top administration demonstrate, in my opinion, that they don't know how the Fourth Amendment works. They don't know when they can demand ID from a person, which would explain one of their why one of their rookie officers violated my Fourth Amendment rights. Now, this is a shorter version of this interaction. This is actually part of a much bigger ongoing story that many of you have been following. So make sure your notifications are on and watch for the longer full version video to come out soon. And there's so much more in that video, you won't want to miss it if you've paid attention to this whole story dating back to the initial rights violation. And if you're here watching anyway and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. It helps out this whole community. It helps me do more and it helps us reach and educate more people. So many of you already have, and I really appreciate every one of you. Now check this out and hit the comments to let me know if I'm right to be disturbed. Dude, that was one thing. I was surprised yeah, to hear he was so new because he had the attitude of a burnt out, you know, years long cop. I was surprised he was only there a few months at that point. Yeah. But you know, when well, he barked, yeah, give, him, give me your ID right now or we're gonna detain you. I was like, hey, you don't, you don't have a suspicion of a crime or anything. You, you, you know you can say things always differently, you, right? You, you can't know, do that, matter of right? Listening. And he said, no, nope, right now, we're, we, we're going to detain yeah. you. We're not. I was like, you can't demand ID. You know, if we're, for one, he had the attitude, he barked it, right. but he's demanding it, or he's going to detain me if he doesn't get it. Right. And I tried to tell him, you can't do that. King says after the I'm fact sure. that he did get with Kyle and told him, hey, you can't do that. No, but in, that. in that moment, he went along with it. Yeah. So from my view, it's both of them doing it, right? And I, I just wanted to bring that to someone's attention that that happens and it can't happen. And that was my goal in the beginning. Hey, maybe get with this guy. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he is a bully. Maybe he doesn't care. Just tell him you can't do this. You, you have to have just because you got a call that there was an argument. And at the time they're saying well, I'm not going to I'm not going to dispute the call because yeah, I yeah. about the call and right. I already I already cleared it. But I agree with right. you that that could, that whole situation could have been handled differently. That perhaps you would have been satisfied with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I mean, and I think uh, that aside from that, had a right to figure out what was going on. They didn't know what was happening at Walmart at the time. I know what it says in the CAD so, call, but they're not reading that stuff. So that part, know? yep. So I, I I I get it. When we got to the demanding ID part, that's what was because they yeah. at, at the same time Kyle's demanding ID. Uh, King is saying we don't know what happened, man. I don't know if it was an argument or what. Well, that's what you have to determine before you can demand ID. And I'm right? sure any nope. reasonable person, you know, you were in, you were on the job. Mm -hmm. Be like, you're right. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. We got a call that this was going on. We're trying to figure it out. If it's nothing to do with you and you're clear, I'm going back to work. Have a nice day, and you know, you move on. And and this isn't a trick, no, but but you, I, we went around a little bit. But you agree that in that scenario, no, 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 they can't I demand think, ID. No, no, I, I agree. No, 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 I don't agree with you. You they, don't, had, they had a right to ask you for your ID in that situation. But what, Whether what, they were going to write what, you a ticket. What crime gonna, had, what crime had committed, gonna, though? I'm not going to. I've what, already cleared it. What crime had been committed? That's, we don't know what crime had been committed. You don't know what crime. It, so could what, have been, it could have been a stabbing, a disturbance. They said it could have people been. are still on it, here. It could have we been a mass know, murder. You know, right? Yeah, and it could have in been. reality, do I even need to ask for your ID? I mean, you can run people's tags. You can ask get, for anybody. Get the, exactly. Right. Exactly. But to demand it, you said it could have been all of those things. But don't you have to suspect or know that it is those things before you demand the ID? I, I hear you. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not going to dispute that. That is long over, but, long done. That officer is no, no longer even here. Right. But yeah. just in general, the one question that I asked you at, at the at the event that time, just trying to ask I'm you, what's required yeah. in the state of Florida to demand ID from somebody? You know, you know as well as I, and they had rights to ask for your ID. So even and though I they didn't have them. suspicion of a crime, they had the right to demand my ID. 
Because they, you just said they didn't have suspicion I of a crime. I answered your other question. I'm not gonna that's dispute. the only question. I'm not gonna no, you asked what? me another question. No, no, this David. is the. So, that's what I said. That's where it I'm all stemmed from. It hurry. stemmed from this one question. It's closed. I exonerated. It's, okay. it's closed because you're Take avoiding care. it and you're still ignoring it. It's not, that one thing. I'm not ignoring you. You, you I'm know. Not, I'm not ignoring you. You know I've, that I've they can't do that. that. The officer in that case. King admitted run, they so. can't do that. Well, King can admit all he wants. I'm the one who investi had it investigated. But, but I make the final decision. But you're the chief. That's my decision. Do you understand the, the I Fourth understand Amendment? Totally. I understand totally. So then, I what is required in the state yesterday. of Florida to demand ID from somebody? All right, man. You got to be kidding me. I thought we were going to make progress. I, I answered your one question. And Look, that's the like, one question I've been asking you for almost 10 go. months now, and yeah. you still won't answer it. Holy shit. Steve, listen, I know, I know you're videoing, but listen, when someone doesn't agree with you, sometimes you got to look at the opposite side. No, but it's not a matter of agreeing. It's a matter of the law and the Fourth Amendment. Yeah, Terry says you can stop whether you, when you suspect about to, did, or uh, uh, has, right? No, has, well, I'm talking about demanding ID. Yeah. That's for Terry. No, no, right? you must have suspicion of a of a crime to demand ID. Yeah, and there, and, and yeah, no. Nope. He made that no. up. You're, you da you're dancing around that. Thing. You're dancing around you know, that for the Fourth Amendment it. violation. That's what you're doing. I mean, that's even. That's man. what you're doing, man. No, 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 no. King, I will say, Shadrach King is no, no, bigger no. than anybody here so far. I'm not gonna, even I though he was one of the initial ones. See you, man. Unbelievable. We're playing these games. Because a cop here, a former cop here, made him a he screwed up. He's not even a cop here anymore. He screwed up, right? Everybody here knows he did not have the lawful right to demand identification in that scenario. You, you must have reasonable suspicion of a crime that has been committed or is about to be committed. Or did. Or did, right. So what crime was committed? The report of an argument is not a crime. No. You must determine first if a crime was committed. I want to say one thing because I know you're on camera. I, I am. Cameras, but this is, this is the thing. If I go to Walmart, right? Right. And it was reported it was a disturbance. That alone is not. But when you have the LP screaming and pointing at that car and you go to see, we don't know if it got physical. Right. You don't, which would have been a battery. This right. Conduct, maybe a stabbing. 100%. Could have been a murder. No. Yes. No, no. If you walk up and... Well, he, he was wrong, right? And he, he's a bully. He's a tyrant. He's a... I'm not going to agree. Right. But you're wrong. You, you must... Listen, this is, this is troubling that you don't know this. You must have a reasonable suspicion that a crime has been committed. Uh, look at this. Unbelievable administration of this department literally thinks... That and walking away, I'm trying to educate them. I know they can hear me in here right now, which is why I'm going to continue to do this. Administration at this department literally thinks that if they get a call for an argument, they can stop you, demand your identification under threat of arrest because a crime might have happened. They clearly don't understand that before they can demand your identification, they have to verify whether or not a crime did happen. Dude, you're wrong, and that's why... Listen to me, man. A lot to say until you're pinned down, and that's when you walk away. No, because you don't have to yes. give nobody a the, chance to the, see you're the, still talking. The chief did it, too. Because, because when I talk, you, want, you run away. When I talk, you run away. I'll let you come inside and talk to me. A normal conversation. When I talk, you run away. You don't want to hear it. Yeah, I say the same thing over and over because you don't understand the Fourth Amendment. You don't understand what's required to ID somebody. You're wrong, and this is why you're running away again. You and your chief. So you, you heard the chief there say it himself. Super old school. If you got nothing to hide, just let the police violate your rights by unlawfully demanding your ID. And just move along. Give up your rights. And Ward there, like I said... He's in charge of training. This is terrifying. Like I've said to them so many times, I can't make them look bad. They can make themselves look good or bad. I'm just holding the camera. And they've shown so many negative displays already. They've had their Facebook comments turned off for months. 
Hit those comments. Definitely let me know what you think. You're definitely going to want to see the longer full version video because there's so much more in it. And it follows along with the whole saga that so many of you have been following. If you haven't, check out the links and the playlist. Make sure you subscribe and your notifications are turned on. Watch for that next video. You definitely don't want to miss it. And any other insanity that may pop off and appear. This stuff shouldn't surprise me, but damn, they know I'm recording. And they're okay with saying the things that they're saying. And they seem so confident. Mind-blowing stuff. So stay tuned. Definitely check out those other videos. I appreciate you. I have.